On June the 10th, 1940, Italy entered the Second World War. Canada declared war on Italy. Residents of Italian origin could be considered enemy aliens and could be detained in internment camps. Some 6,000 men were arrested, 2,400 of them from Montreal. 700 of them, most of them Canadian citizens, were held for up to three years in a camp in Petawawa, Ontario. None of them was ever charged, none ever compensated. And now on the 70th anniversary of the internment camp, a play, now at the Centaur Theatre, called Paradise by the River. It is written by Montreal playwright Vittorio Rossi. And welcome. Thank you, Matsumi. I, um, I was very surprised to hear about this story, about this Italian internment camp in, uh, in Petawawa. It's not something that a lot of people know very much about, is it? Uh, correct, uh, including some of the, a lot of Italians. Um, the, what they do know is that there were internment camps and the bigger story in, in, in terms of um, uh, what we've seen in film uh, has been what's happened to Japanese Americans mm -hmm. and Japanese Canadians. But the Italian version of it is relatively very little, little well, little known. Uh, and a lot, what a lot of people don't understand either is that also is that is that the Italians were a threat to Canada before Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, so that ordeal began even a good year, year and a half before. And and also because what's so striking is so many of the people were Canadian citizens. Yes. And and many of them, well, none of them was ever charged. No, to this day, no. And they they were you know their their homes were taken from them, their jobs. You wanted to tell the story, obviously. And you yeah. tell it through the story of a recent immigrant. Exactly. Um, I had done some research uh, for a film project. Uh, the film never got uh, made. I regretted the fact that all that work was put into it and nothing came of it, so I decided to turn it into a play. Um, the character uh, that's arrested is, is, a, is, a, is, is, a, is an amalgamation of, of a lot of the research. Uh, that came out of um, that time period in the 90s. Yeah, we're looking at uh, some of the scenes from the play right now. But this play has universal themes, doesn't it? I mean, it's not just about a man who came from Italy and ended up in an internment camp. It asks a lot of questions about the, the courage of an individual, especially when the, confronted by maybe government decisions that are, that are not quite moral. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it, I can't think of a greater challenge. I mean, your whole life, your honor, your respect is stripped away from you. You're given, you're reduced literally to nothing. Uh, your families were divided. Businesses were destroyed. You're being, the government is telling the society that we, that as a group, they are, that we are, the Italians were dangerous people, enemy aliens. Um, that has to really test your mettle uh, for courage. Um, a lot of them survived. Some also gave up on the country and went back to, back to Italy. And I think it's important to note, if, you know, watching that play, that it's not, yes, it happened 70 years ago, but it could just as easily happen again, couldn't it? Sure it can. I mean, the play does ask the question uh, at some point, what did what did uh, we expect the government to do? Uh, there was a crisis. The world was at war. Um, Italy declared war on England, therefore Canada. Canada reciprocates by doing the same. What do you do? It's a crisis. Um, I would expect the government to protect me if something happened, but uh, there has to be a better way. You can't just round up uh, the entire society, the entire uh, group called Italians or Japanese or Germans uh, just because their motherland was at war. I don't know the answer to it, but it was wrong, absolutely. And that we should always be on guard because it can happen again. It can, yeah. Your play is, is on at the Centre Theatre right now. It's going to be on until October the 31st. Yes, sir. And a very important, um, a very important story that had to be told. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.